Good day, Doctor. We are from Group 1. The project title, our project title is Heat Transfer in Heat Exchanger. I'm Gan Jingyi with metric number KH19021. I am Ng Li Hua with matrix number KH20073. I'm Chu Chai Yun with number matrix KH19024. I'm Ban Yu Xiu with matrix number KH19029. The objective of our project is to compare the heat loss between core current flow and counter current flow of various fluids. To compare the efficiency between core current flow and counter current flow is another objective. And the last objective is to compare the efficiencies of various fluids. Next. I will start with the introductions. A uh, heat Exchanges is a device used to transfer heat between two or more fluids. Heat exchangers have two flow arrangements. One is core current flow, another is cowden current flow. Core current flow, also known as parallel flow, and both the hot and cold fluid flow in the same direction. And for while well, for counter current flow, both the hot and cold fluids flow in opposite directions. Heat transfer can be calculated by using formula Q equals to mass flow rate times specific heat and heat change. We calculate the heat transfer and efficiency by insert the formula into MATLAB. MATLAB is the software which designs for quick and easy scientific calculations. Next. And in our GOI, we will show four output, which is heat release, heat exhaust, heat loss, and efficiency. That four output will well, use these four equations. First is heat loss is equals to mass flow rate times specific heat and times temperature change. And second is heat exhaust, also same like the equation of heat release. Third is heat loss equal to Q out minus Q in. The last equation is efficiency equals to Q in per Q out times 100%. Next. This is a flow chart which show the step we to get the answer. First, uh, we need to determine the type of fluids. We got three fluids. One is water, another oil, and last is benzene. Next, we need to determine the flow arrangement. And we got two flow arrangements. First is cold current flow, another is cold current flow. Next, the heat change of hot string was calculated. Next, we need to calculate the cold stream heat change. Next, specific heat capacities of fluid was determined. Then heat release by hot strings was calculated. And then heat exhaust by cold stream also need to calculate that. Also need to calculate heat loss. And next, we need to calculate the heat loss. And last, we need to calculate the efficiency. Next, I'll pass to my to my group man to proceed. OK, uh, this is the flow chart to create a GUI in MATLAB. Uh, first, we need to create a blank GUI. Next, create a pop-up menu to choose the type of fluid, create edit textbook for all inputs, create static textbook to label all inputs with title and units, create slider for input data, for uh, create a two panel to uh, group the textbook together with share the same data, create three push button which are calculate, reset, and sample data. Change the tag, num uh, tag name of each box Create two axes for all graph, uh, and then open M file for uh, of the figure. Type code to each input below their callback component to retrieve the data. Add the formula into callback component of push button in order to calculate the data given. Add set function to the M file so the data can be shown in G GUI. Add code to reset button, and finally run and save the M file. Uh, I will continue by uh, to show my GUI in MATLAB. This is the GUI that we have already created. Uh, for this, this is the pop-up button for us to choose the 
whereas a uh, for it in the, uh, in this pop up button i have uh, input the formula inside uh, we have used the if and uh, else if formula to calculate this uh, this formula and then we have also input the fun uh, formula inside the calculate button which are the sample mathematical formula as shown here next we have also input some formula inside the callback the reset callback button which are this formula lastly the sample data also have the formula inside which we use the uh, pop up menu uh, and switch case here so i am going to present the output of the program with discussion so li hua please show our gui program all right once we run our program we can show we use this will display on their pc at the top user can select their fluid which is water oil and benzene there are two display panel, which the left side is called current flow, while the right side is the current current flow. User are, user are required to enter four input, four value of input, which is the average temperature hot stream inlet and outlet, average temperature cold stream inlet and outlet, and also the mass flow rate. User can enter the temperature for inlet by manually typing their uh, inlet value, and user can use the slider function at the outlet there to slide to their desired value. Otherwise, user also can manually type their value at the box below the slider. Besides that, when we click the uh, one of the fluid, for example, water, we will have the auto pop up variable, which is the specific heat capacity as shown here, 4.18. Once we enter all our experimental data, we click the calculate button, all the heat release, heat absorb, heat loss, and efficiency value will auto calculated and will be will have two graphs to show at the allocated space. Once we are once we are done with our comp with our input, we can click our reset to clear all our data. Okay, now we back to our presentation slide. So like what I say just now, we, we when we click the fluid selector, we will have the auto pop out variable, which here we use water, oil, and benzene, and the specific heat capacity value is based on this reference. There are few remarks for user to have a valid data. First, the temperature of hot stream inlet should higher than the temperature of cold stream inlet. Next, the temperature of hot stream outlet should lower than the temperature of hot stream inlet. Lastly, the temperature of cold stream outlet should higher than the temperature of cold stream inlet. Next. For example, we using the we using the experiment from thermodynamic, which is the heat transfer study on the shell and tube heat exchanger. This is our example data. We put this data in our GUI program. Next. When we put all the data in our GUI program, this will be the output we will get. We will get the four different value for the heat release, heat absorption, heat loss, and efficiency for different flow arrangement. And we will have two graphs to compare, to let the user compare their difference. Next. So, we also, user also can click the sample data to, in order to have the menu to select the program from the menu to have two graphs, which as this figure is to compare the heat loss between core current flow and current current flow on various fluid. By comparing this graph, we can conclude by, we, we can compare by two ways. One is by comparing the flow arrangement from the figure, we can see that the heat loss from the current flow rate is lower than the core current flow. Uh, this is because the temperature profile of core current flow show a large temperature difference at the end, thus cause a large thermal stress. Like we show in this figure, there are a large profile, a uh, large thermal stress for core current. Mm, you press again. Okay. Second, we compare uh, we compare the different fluid. We we will compare the different fluid. Water have the highest heat loss. This is because water have the highest specific heat capacity amongst other fluid. That's therefore it needs the large amount of heat energy to raise the temperature at cold stream outlet. This will cause the difference of temperature on cold water stream small. 
the uh, so the difference of temperature on hot water stream is bigger than the difference of temperature on cold water stream which in result that the heat loss will be highest and benzene benzene with water have the lowest heat loss with the same explanation because it have the lowest specific heat capacity amongst other fluid next we have the second figure to compare the efficiency amongst the fluid from the figure we can see that the uh, out of the core current and cotton current the efficiency from cotton current is higher than the core current this is because the heat loss for cotton current is lower than the heat uh, lower than in core current flow besides we also can compare by different fluid that the water have the lower efficiency as what i say just now water have the highest heat loss that's why it will cause it ha it will cause it become the lowest efficiency and lastly the benzene water will have the highest efficiency because it have the least heat loss among other fluid Next, I will pa pass to my partner to conclude our project. So as a conclusion, user can use this GMI program to calculate the experimental data. Uh, and this is easier uh, compared with the calculation in MATLAB, which they no need to key in the data repeatedly or dealing with the error in the MATLAB. So in, in this GMI program, the selection function is the type of fluid so that we have three types of fluid can be choose. And for the reputation function, the heat release, heat absorb, heat loss, and efficiency are calculated. For the user input, uh, they need to key in the temperature outlet of the hot stream and cold stream, and as, as well as the inlet temperature. For, for the formatted output, the specific heat capacity is uh, calculated and shown in the panel there for every fluid. And for the mathematical equation we use is to calculate the heat release, heat absorb, heat loss, and heat efficiency. For the output of this pro, uh, UI program is the comparison of the heat loss and the efficiency of counter current flow and the core current flow for various fluid. Next. So for the recommendation of this GI program is uh, we can have uh, more selection of the type of fluid, which uh, we can uh, increase the number of type of fluid uh, up to six or more so the user can calculate uh, with other type of fluid uh, by the calculation uh, beside that the we also can uh, add some more equation uh, that can be calculated such as heat heat transfer coefficient and log mean temperature difference so uh, that from this they can calculate the heat flow rate between two streams of the experiment that's all from us uh, thank you.